In this video, we'll walk through an example of solving a system of equations which is nonlinear. And this system of equations is nonlinear because we have x times y. And we actually have it in both equations, but even if we had it in only one equation, this would be a nonlinear system of equations. Also, if we had something like x squared and y squared both in the, uh, in the same equation, that would be nonlinear. Now this example just has 2x plus 5y plus 7xy equals 8 and xy minus 3 equals 0. We'll solve this using substitution. That is, we, we will take one of the equations and solve for one of the variables and then plug that expression in for that variable and for the other equation. We'll solve this bottom equation for y. So we'll add 3 to each side, and we get xy equals 3. And then we'll divide each side by x, and so you get y equals 3 over x. Now, this is the expression that is equal to y, this 3 over x. So we'll take and plug in 3 over x every time we see a y in the other equation. So rewriting this other equation, we have 2x plus 5 times y plus 7x times y equals 8. And I'm specifically calling that out so that I can plug in whatever our y was. And that is 3 over x and 3 over x over in this other place where it's y. Now let's clean this up a little bit. I'll subtract 8 from each side and I'm going to do some stuff here. I'll, I'll write a little notation just to save myself some room. Uh, this is equal to 15 over x. And this is equal to just 21. That's because these x's cancel. This is like x over 1. And then we've got x in the denominator. So this is just 21. I'll subtract um, 8 from each side as well. So let's get to that. The resulting equation is 2x plus 15 over x plus 21 minus 8, I'm subtracting 8 from each side, so 21 minus 8 is 13. Now, we've got a, an x in the denominator. What we can do, oh, this equals 0 then, because we subtracted 8 from each side. What we can do then is clear up this x in the denominator by multiplying everything by x. And every single term is going to be multiplied by x. Well, over on this other side, we also multiply the other side of the equation. The other side, 0 times x is just 0, of course. So what we get here is 2x squared plus 15 plus 13x equals 0. Right? Because the x's cancel in this middle term. 15 over x times x just equals just 15. Now, if I were to factor this, I would get 2x plus 3 times the quantity x plus 5 equals 0. And we've got some solutions for x here. We've got x equals negative 3 halves and x equals negative 5. For each of those scenarios of x equal, equaling negative 3 halves and negative 5, we'll plug that in for x over here in this other equation, one of the original equations, and then solve for y. So let's do that. When x equals negative 3 halves, we have y equals 3 over negative 3 halves. So dividing a fraction, that gives you uh, y equals negative 2. In the other uh, scenario, when x equals negative 5, then we have y equals 3 over negative 5. Well, then y is just negative 3 fifths. So we have our two ordered pairs here, and that's this and this. And I'll write that down at the bottom. So we have one solution to this system of equations, and that is when x is negative 3 halves and y is negative 2, the other solution, the other ordered pair that is a solution that makes both of these equations true is when x is negative 5 and y is negative 3 fifths. So that was an example of solving a system of equations that is nonlinear, and we use the substitution approach.